I'm James Sikman, Director of Instruction at Shadow Ridge Country Club in Omaha. I'd like to talk to you today about uh, different lies in the rough and adapting for those situations. If I just play a normal shot with a good lie, there's no interference behind the ball, so I'm just going to sit up and just play a normal shot. The problem is, if I make that same motion with this ball that's buried in the rough, the angle of attack is going to be too shallow and I'm just going, to, just going to duff out. So when I talk about angle of attack, I talk about the angle that the club head comes down into the ball. Now on a clean lie, a fairway lie or a good lie in the rough, that angle might be six degrees or so. But with all this grass behind the ball, if I come in at six degrees, like I said, it's not going to be steep enough to get at the ball. So how am I going to adapt for this lie? I'm going to widen my stance, choke down right to the bottom of the club. Because when you're on the bottom of the club, the shorter the, the shorter the club is, the steeper the arc. So we'll go wide, choke down, and now I'm going to lean towards the target. And I'm going to lean my head, my handle, towards the pin and my weight. And now the club wants to work slightly more up. I'm not really doing that on purpose as the setup's taking care of it. So I've created angle in my address, I call it. Wide, lean, now the same kind of arm motion should produce the steep enough angle of attack to get the club to pop, or to get the ball to pop up and have the good contact regardless of the lie. So that's called a creating angle. Now one last comment. If you're the type of person that practices and you just pull balls up and tee them up, and you get hitting good lies because I mean good shots because they're simple shots and then you got to the first green and you have a ball that's nestled down you have not practiced that shot how could you possibly expect yourself to be good at it so practice tip I have for you is when you practice your practice the balls that you throw around should be random some should be in bad lies some should be in divots some should be teed up some on the down slope some on the up slope and one of the things you have to do to be great at golf is to practice judgment and figuring out what to do in different circumstances so that regardless of your lie, you can still perform.